Hey everyone, Nicholas Vienglu here, and today I just wanted to take some time to talk about practicing, um, as well as um, introduce a new technique that some of you might not be familiar with. Um, so to start with the technique, it's really about thinking of the acoustic guitar and how can we get all of the different tones out of an acoustic guitar, right? A lot of people think, hmm, if I'm playing acoustic, it's just the one sound is me strumming. That's the only sound I can get, right? But to me, I think of an electric guitar, right? If I think of an electric guitar, I know I usually have three different pickups, right? We have the neck, the middle, and the bridge. So I say, huh, I wonder if I attack or I pick in those three different areas if I will get three different sounds. And the answer is totally true. You will absolutely get three unique sounds. So check this out. If I pluck or strum more towards the neck, it's going to get a much more kind of a vocal, like clarinet-ish sound, right? Very warm. Right? Now if I go to the middle, it's going to be our normal kind of um, a little bit brighter, a little more energy. Right? Now if I go to the bridge, it's going to be very bright, a lot more treble, a lot more presence. Right? I'm obviously exaggerating a lot right now just so you can hear the difference. But, um, you know, you get the same kind of thing with lines. If I play a line here at the neck, versus middle, versus bridge, you can really start using this uh, as a way to almost have three different pickups on your completely non-electric instrument. Um, so it's just a really fun way to kind of start experimenting with dynamics and color um, with your playing. You know, so if I'm strumming an entire song right here, you know, maybe when I want to create some tension, I go to the bridge, or maybe it's the chorus and I want it to be chill and I'm going to the neck. You know what I mean? Just kind of use them however you want. They're your own tools to use. Um, so that's a really cool thing to start experimenting with. Also works with your fingers if you're not using a pick. Um, same deal. Bridge, middle, neck. It's always going to get more warmer as you go closer to the fretboard. Um, so that's just like a fun little technique that you guys might not have been super hip with, and now you are. Um, one more thing, uh, kind of while we're on the vein of technique, you know, a lot of the times I see people playing, especially when they're playing lines or they're playing chords or bigger chord grips, I see them really, really, really pushing for the chord. Like say maybe one of your chords isn't coming out all the way and it sounds like, right? There's, there's some of those dead notes in there. Our immediate reaction is to push as hard as we can and grip, like almost like flexing our forearm, right? And that's not what we want to do. We want to be as relaxed and gentle as possible. So something I always do when I'm warming up um, before I start playing guitar is I remind myself how gentle and how little, almost zero pressure you really need to generate a note. So for example, I might put uh, my finger on like the third fret of the high E string, mute it, right? And I'm going to gradually, gradually, ever so slowly start putting pressure on that finger Right, there's no note. Wow, there's my note. And I wish you could experience how light I'm touching the string right now. Like I'm barely resting my hand on the fretboard and I'm generating the note, right? Here's me touching the note as gentle as possible. And here's me pushing it down as hard as I can. Gentle. No difference, right? So point being, um, Try not to tense up while you're playing something that's maybe a little more complex or a little more challenging because pushing down harder on the string isn't going to do anything. Um, it's just going to slow you down and it's going to cramp up your fingers. We don't want wrist problems because we love playing guitar and we want to play guitar forever. Um, so that's kind of the two little technique things I wanted to touch on. Um, last thing to talk about real quick is our actual practice routine. Now, if you're like me or anyone else who feels like you can like constantly can't focus on one thing. Um, a lot of the times if I sit down to practice for say an hour, say, okay, I'm gonna allot one full hour of practice today. You know, I'm practicing, so everything's going great. 
and then somehow, five minutes in, we're going... Right, we're doing all some crazy blues licks or something completely random, and then we go, oh, wait, 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 I was practicing, right? Let me get back to practicing. So, if you're like that and you kind of have trouble focusing, like, really honing in on one thing, what I do, and it's worked for a lot of my students, is I'll break up that one hour of practice that we want to do into little 15 minute intervals. And those 15 minutes can be spread across the entire day. It doesn't have to be like one after the other. So what I generally do is I'll do 15 minutes per subject. Say, okay, I need to do my scales, my arpeggios, my chords, and uh, my improv. So I'll pick scales first. And I'll say 15 minutes, I'm gonna pick one scale exercise for 15 minutes, and I'm just gonna commit to that. The TV's off, my phone is on airplane mode, my computer is closed, no distractions, I'm not gonna get, you know, taken away by the mailman delivering my mail, like, I am just gonna be 100% committed to this 15 minutes into the guitar. Um, so, I'll do 15 minutes super high intensity focus on one subject, um, and then I'll take a break. I'll take a five minute break, I'll go make some tea, I'll go get the mail, I'll have a snack, whatever, come back, another 15 minutes, your arpeggios, or whatever you're practicing. 15 minutes, boom, done, take a break right? Come back, repeat the process. You can also do it 15 minutes right when you wake up, go to work, 15 minutes of your lunch break at work, boom, 15 minutes right when you get home, 15 minutes before bed after you brush your teeth, and there you go, you've done a whole hour of practice. 